Steve Gamash here with a Chef Knives to Go quick look product video and this time we're looking at the Kineske Ginsan series knife roundup. So we have four models here. We've got the 150 Petty, we've got the 210 Gyoto, the 240 Gyoto, and the 270 Gyoto. These are all a bit undersized. Uh, this is, this Gyoto's I think 200. This one's 228 quote 240 and this one's 258 so they are a bit undersized in terms of length compared to some. The uh, features of these knives I want to talk about they've got a superb amount of fit and finish they've got a lot of finish work done to these but they all have beautifully curved mirrored finished polished emoto or neck end of the choil on both sides they have really done a lot of work to the spine on these it's going to be hard to show you this but uh, on the spine, they've done a lot of work where they've actually bring them almost to a V. So I don't know if you can see that, but all four knives I've got here do the same thing. So they, they have so much curve, it, it's not very flat on top. It actually comes into a V. If you push a lot on it, it may bug you a little bit, but it's so well rounded, it doesn't seem to bother me at all. If you push a lot on the top, you don't have a big flat spot there. Uh, but that's the that's an interesting characteristic on these is a highly... Uh, done uh, spine on these in terms of the shape. So it comes almost to a rounded off V at the top. The um, finish on these is, is highly polished. It's not a mirror finish, but there's a lot of polish on it. And they've got very large primary bevels off the flat of the blade all the way down to the edge. And you can see how thin they are at the edge from the amount of core steel showing right there on the cladding line. The only, they go through product really, really well, and they've got a lot of, uh, you know, performance to them. The only issue I've had with them, just to let you know, is this large primary bevel along with the polish on the blade does tend to make some food kind of stick on this quite a bit. So it's definitely not a non-stick knife. It doesn't have really good uh, food reliefs, uh, just so you're aware of that. So some things, even like carrots, kind of got suctioned onto this large primary bevel. And that's the only feature about it I, I didn't particularly care for that much. But I just want you to be aware of that characteristic of these knives. So while they go through food very well, they do tend to be not very non-stick. And just so you know that going in. So that's something I wanted to illustrate about this line of knives. Fit and finish is superb. Craftsmanship is superb. They are beautifully done knives. Great to look at. And the, they're thin. The tips go through product very well. So all around really nice guillotos. And Petty, they are, as you kind of seen, the blade profiles, if you look at each one on the Giotos, all have a flat profile uh, at the heel. So if you like a flat blade edge profile, these Giotos all deliver on that. So just a beautifully crafted series of knives. The 270 has hand chiseled kanji on it, and the other ones have embossed uh, logo on them. So the 270 is done a little bit different on this particular knife that I have in hand. So there you have the Kineske Ginsan series all stainless knives.